What's happening? This your boy, Rock, 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 Y'all already know what time it is, man. Rocket Slim, one half of the Rocket Gang, always, man. And I'm coming to you right now with my motherfucking nigga, your motherfucking nigga, Moosey motherfucking film, King Visions in the building, man. Y'all already know what it is. Get! See. Alright, what's happening? We, we got a motherfucking rocket, one half of the motherfucking rocket gang. Yeah. Alright, so let's get the elephant out the room. Okay. What's up with rocket gang? Yeah, rocket gang still is in formation how it's always been. Rocket gang is still a movement that is still moving. You know what I'm saying? Uh, basically right now, me and Cool, that's still my brother, that's still my partner. I always got love for him, you know what I'm saying, there's no more beef. Uh, at first we were trying to, you know, point the fingers at who was wrong, but it take two to argue. You know what I'm saying, he had his faults, I had my faults. So, at the end of the day, we just gotta come to a mutual ground and understand that we men, we made mistakes and we just need to move forward and right now we in that process right now but as far as cool that's still my brother you know what i'm saying no ill will towards him man you know what i'm saying and shit for all i know it could be another rocket game mixtape album coming to you just be goddamn prepared for the unexpected believe that okay so y'all have spoken right oh yeah oh yeah man i i, I couldn't i couldn't actually Go without speaking to him, just on some real nigga shit because we had got so deep with each other and as far as goddamn homeboy relationship, not as far, not not only as the music go, but as far as personal life go too as well. So it would be real a whole nigga move for me to just be like fucking fucking, you know what I'm saying? It was just nigga did shit in my life that I appreciate, you know what I'm saying? I gave him some inspiration in, in his life, but he still appreciate it. And we on a mutual talking basement right now, so everything one on one with me and cool. Believe that, man. True, true, true. All right. Now that we got the elephant out the room, let's get down to the business part. Yeah. So man, you've been booming in the streets, man. I heard I've been hearing these mixtapes, man. Yeah. How many you done dropped in this year alone? Man, the mixtapes I didn't drop. I didn't drop so far three mixtapes. Uh, refill with my first one, and I had stupid collabs on that. Shout out to Grind Gang, the whole Grind Gang, Flame. Appreciate you for blessing that track for me. Shout out to KB Mojo Street 1025 Music, my boy Finna Breath. <laughs> Y'all sleeping on him? He finna take off. I got shout out all my motherfucking producers on there. Goddamn 424. Follow that nigga right now. IG Triple OG Baby. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn my nigga Old Dog. Shout out to my nigga Tapers Lantana, shout out to KV, everybody a part of that project. They were real big, real goddamn supportive of me in that time. I was in a little dark space when Refill was being recorded and the the individuals I kept around me at that time was just uplifted. Shout out to you, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody who really blessed me on that tape, man, you know what I'm saying? But Refill was the first one I had dropped. Um, I dropped two EPs the same day, the same time, just because I was really getting tired, you know what I'm saying, uh, of a lot of shit I've been saying as far as goddamn who's popping out, you know what I'm saying, and I did that to let them know that the music is still real, I'm still here, I ain't going no motherfucking well, I mean, I know y'all ain't heard of nothing from me. Rocket Slim every single two drop, but believe me, I'm always working. You know what I'm saying? So right now, I done dropped three mixed tapes within this time frame. Well, three EPs within this time frame. You know what I'm saying? And um, mixed tapes is on the way. Yeah. Okay. Now fuck the middleman. Came out. <laughs> came out with the video. Right. 
going stupid. Right. <laughs> King Vision shot it. All day. Already. Moving. <laughs> now, nah. what happened to the tape? Ain't nothing happened to the tape. The tape is still gonna be released. Fuck Will Man, that that's my baby right there. Fuck Will Man is gonna be one of the only EPs that I drop that I'm actually put in business and and, and and paperwork behind. And a lot of things that a lot of people don't understand is when you're dealing with this business and paper, you're not only working on your time, you gotta work on companies' time, you gotta work on other people's time. So don't I, I'm not slipping, you know what I'm saying? I'm not slipping, I'm always working. I got new material for past Fuck The Middle Man, you know what I'm saying? But Fuck The Middle Man will drop, believe that. I just still don't have a definite date, but I guarantee you 2016 when I leave what I Fuck The Middle Man being released. Okay, cool. So, I know you said you then had a lot of features on your mixtape. Mm -hmm. Anybody else you want to work with locally? Locally, I mean, right now, like my, like I don't anybody who ever fuck with me know I ain't got a hating bone in my motherfucking body. So goddamn, locally, like the city really been goddamn showing their ass. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got. I'm surprised. I, it's been a long time since I seen the best guy ever come out with some artist. Who really got down making it do what they do, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but to work with <clears throat> people that I haven't worked with, I mean, I want to, I, I, I really want to work with Daiji just on song, just, just on, I, I, I really need like a couple of songs for Daiji, you know what I'm saying? Like, Daiji, he been almost like the big brother fig figure, him and Flame. Actually, the whole grind game, DNR, shout out, Raj was handy. Goddamn food was going on. Goddamn the whole grind game really been like an extended family to the rocket game ever since we got started way back in the Tony Rax days. So I mean I wanna do like something with goddamn Daji. Um right now goddamn that nigga Luwak, you know what I'm saying? He gang boy. He made a little disruption in the city, for, for real. That nigga Luwak got there, came and really put his foot down. And you know what I'm saying? I, I got a chance to really meet him only one time for like 10 minutes up in the yo. You know what I'm saying? But how he was speaking, like he about a business. So I really would like to do something with Luwak. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Loud Pack, and I I still call him Loud Pack, cause that's how I look at him, man. Goddamn, them niggas just, boy, they inspired me and cool, as well as Mac and Slim. Like, as far as duos go when we first came out, like, those were the two groups we were really looking up to, Loud Pink and Mac and Slim. So, goddamn, me and Fernando, we had a track. Me and TZ had a couple tracks, but they ain't never really get to do what they need to do. But, you know what I'm saying, at the same time, I understand everybody still got down doing what they got to do to get their business right. So, hopefully, in the near future, you know what I'm saying, now that everything's coming together, we can actually make that happen. Um, definitely want to work with Mac and Slim. You know what I'm saying? Like I heard about them boys when we first started. This was back. Now I'm 12, 13 years old. I hear about Mac and Slim. So goddamn, I definitely that would be an honor for me to work with them boys. Oh um, shit. Uh, I be saying goddamn niggas doing their thing. Um, absolute. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I really fuck with his business grind. He really got a nasty business grind that niggas sleeping on. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with him. Um, Ishpat, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Ishpat, man. Goddamn, we had a track maybe like three years ago that was stupid, dumb, dumb, stupid. It ain't never get released, and I'm so mad about that shit. But Ishpat, I would love to work with him. Um, Nigga Black Mars, he on some other shit. I fucks with him. Oh um, shit, uh got him. I mean, right now in the city, I mean it's just a lot of people doing their thing right now. Um I wouldn't mind jumping in the yo with kids Simmons. I had got down seen I just seen got down um I had seen him a couple times perform. I like his energy. 
So definitely kids singing. You know what I'm saying? I would like to got down and have a little chance to link up with them. Um, I don't know, right? It's this one one group we had seen a couple years back at a showcase like Pilot Gang. I don't know where these niggas at was, but if y'all happen to see this, I wanna fuck with y'all boys, man. Y'all was on some real other old shit. I like that shit. Well, I mean, well, uh, Vet Luther King, he doing his shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I really like to get in the yo with him. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Pretty much, got uh, everybody else that I wanted to work with, I done pretty much worked with to this point. You know what I'm saying? Um, TK and Cash, that'll be a nice little feature. You know what I'm saying? They still, they not local. You know what I'm saying? But they from the city, so that would really be, really be a nice little feature for them. Um, but shit, like I say, man, Gusta is going in right now, bro. Gusta going in. I'm proud of the city, you know what I'm saying? There was one point, I remember people were like, fuck a Gusta, you know what I'm saying? They don't do nothing but hate. But it looks like goddamn, the generation that we coming out with now, bro, really on some other shit, know that goddamn, we gotta get out there. You can't stand the Gusta, man. Proud to see niggas goddamn going out to different cities doing shit, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I gotta go back to my big brother Flame, man. He said the blueprint, you know what I'm saying? That nigga all over, so I mean, shit. Like I say, I've been under the radar, but don't mean I'm behind you. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting my business together. I'm getting my goddamn paperwork together, my brand together. Getting our brand drop zone all the way to the goddamn next level. Because right now, drop zone got the nastiest brand in the street. You know what I'm saying? But if I forgot anybody, I apologize. You know what I'm saying? But boy, those few people I named off for the couple of people that got down, I know in the city that's really got down work. You know what I gotta do. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's safe to say that Drop Zone got the, the best in the city. Oh man. Best oh, engineers. Man. <laughs> the the, the <laughs> hey, best look talent. Here. Look at him, bro. I'm gonna tell you like this. Drop Zone got a gold mine over here, man. It's one thing that you'll have niggas that know what to do, you know what I'm saying, as far as business-wise, you know what I'm saying. But nine times out of ten, if you look at it, the niggas who got the business don't got the time. And there ain't no shot at nobody because I don't know nobody personally outside. So don't y'all niggas be all in your feelings talking about, oh, you take an exam, I mean, this, that, and the third. No. But if you look at it, it's usually the niggas with no talent that's getting on and the Worldwide question is how the fuck did this nigga make it? this nigga trash, you know what I'm saying? But you gotta look at the nigga grind. Is this nigga sitting at home trying to do the local shows that you signed up for every weekend? Or is this nigga out of state getting his goddamn name out? You know what I'm saying? Is he out of state trying to goddamn promo network with different people? It's, it, it, it's more than just goddamn knowing that you got the juice. If you got the juice and don't do nothing with it, then you gonna die with the juice. Leave it, for real. So right now, I'm just on that next level ground, man. I gotta get out of the city. I'm talking to a couple people right now in the A, as far as getting venues set up. Uh, I got a couple people in Carolina out there hollering at about a couple venues. So shit, man. I, I ain't even gonna say summer 17. I ain't gonna say 2017, cause nigga, my ball get rolling now. So nigga, hey, it might be goddamn two weeks from now you see a nigga goddamn gone doing the show, you feel me? So I'm just trying to got down lines all the in and out to the business and got down, hey, whatever it's gonna take me, it's gonna take me. I know I got it, believe that. All right. So I seen y'all there in the clubs lately, a few months back, performing, got, right. a, got good energy. Stupid energy. Stupid energy. So, What's up with the performance? I ain't gonna lie, man. You know, and, and people who didn't know me and really holler at me, got down on the regular, know I ain't been performing, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a dead end if you look at it like that, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I ain't really wanna be performing because I feel like, you know, the city ain't really 
handle exposure deals. Ain't nobody really big coming to the city to actually watch you perform. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to get a local buzz. You know what I'm saying? The local buzz is cool. Cause shit, you know what I'm saying? That that's a part of your base. But at the same time, it's just like it's almost wasting my time. I'm trying to get paid. You know what I'm saying? I give a fuck about goddamn the building pack or not. If I can get my check, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? So right now I'm out. My main focus is trying to get my paperwork right for where I get paid for my performance. Now it's just one more performance that I will set up that I won't look for no revenue back off of. And uh, and that's Sky City. Right now I got an own live band. I've been talking to, shout out Trey Sounds, my nigga Josh, my nigga Paul, Sega Siobhan, you know what I'm saying, nigga on bass. Goddamn, I've been fucking with them real strong, you know what I'm saying? So we got there, got a little something in the works, and we really trying to reach out to Sky City, because we feel like that's the big venue for it, you know what I'm saying? So um, Sky City is the only other venue right now I'm looking at. To go ahead and just do a show that I'm not looking for any revenue back off of. Alright. Studio record that. Man. Nothing but drop on. Man. And there's no disrespect to anybody in the city. I swear there ain't no disrespect to anybody in the city. Cause I know <laughs> niggas dropping everywhere around the city. Niggas got studio uptown, downtown, west side, south side, all that. But. You gotta find a studio that fits you. You know what I'm saying? I don't fit well in other studios. I'm perfect in Drop Zone. You feel me? This is my home. I would not record nowhere else but Drop Zone. And you know what I'm saying? When that time comes to when we got patchwork and all that, I'm still bringing suit with me because I don't trust nobody else with my vocals. I don't nobody make me sound like how I sound. I done built a sound with this man. We going on two year relationship, straight recording, dropping hits, dropping hits, and every hit get better. It get smashed, it get stupid, it get more diverse. We always got damn pretty tricks out the hand. You know what I'm saying? His style of engineering is on so much next level shit, it fits my next level vibe. So, Drop Zone will always be my home. And like I say, even when we got down Star Movie in LA, at the big boy studio, I'm going to have soup engineer. I, ain't no, I, I don't need no engineer. I have my engineer. You know what I'm saying? So, drop zone forever. Drop zone is home. And TRG is the committee, man. Who, uh, shoot your vids, man. Ah, uh, <laughs> man behind the camera, man. The best video man in the city so far. For real. And, and I put that on everything, you know what I'm saying? From the quality to the price to the time that you're investing in and everybody's video is just it's ridiculous, man. We like I said, when me and Cool started off, we're paying for it. You know what I'm saying? For somebody that wasn't even nowhere near on the level where we at now. And it's just boy, look at him. King Vision has been the best investment I ever made as far as my image. And, I will never stop fucking with moves. You know what I'm saying? And I won't stop fucking with suits. When they label start calling, they want to shoot a video with it now. I got my man. You know what I'm saying? If you want to goddamn upgrade the equipment so you get what you want, do it. But hey, my first thing is loyalty to everybody who's been loyal to me while we in this. When we pop, my circle is going to pop with it. Believe that. All the niggas who been fucking with me, going to pop with me. You know what I'm saying? But if you ain't been fucking with me, like some niggas have been, you know what I'm saying? And we ain't gonna goddamn leave that out. Cause, hey, it, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? After me and Cool have we had a lot of niggas separated themselves. Some people fuck with me, some people still fuck with Cool, you know what I'm saying? But not knowing behind the curtains, me and Cool, we, we ain't got no more problems. You know what I'm saying? Me and Buddy, we talk. So goddamn, at the same time, it's just like, I can see. I'm glad it kind of happened. It helped, it helped me reevaluate who I need musically. You know what I'm saying? It's a difference between who you need in your life personally and who you need in music. So that right there in itself really just got me to talk about lesson. So it won't be as many features going forward. You know what I'm saying? But um, it will be rock and game drop. Well, Moosey fans, King Vision, forever. Leave that. 
What did you come up with your name? Rocket. Uh, I mean, I didn't come up with the name Rocket. Uh, that, that, that was our cool idea. You know, Rocket Guy was, was, was created way before I even knew about it, way before it was a Rocket song. You know what I'm saying? Rocket Guy was been created. You know what I'm saying? And got down. Cool got down, brought it to me. After we linked up, and we got him, caught the vibe for each other. I ain't even going to rap at the time. And when I got down, he let me just hit some of his music. I let him hit some of my music. We were really feeling each other vibe on that too. And that's when he brought forth that, you know what I'm saying? He had a group rocking down. You know what I'm saying? He really broke down what it stood for. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 if you really think about a rocket, it's a man-made object that's meant to go up. You know what I'm saying? Not meant to goddamn come down without being commanded to. You know what I'm saying? So I I really took to that fact of the meaning of a rocket. You know what I'm saying? As well as you hear a lot of our songs, we always say we sitting up on the God's feet. You know what I'm saying? Because there's nothing higher than that. That's the only thing that can be higher than a rocket band. That, that can be higher than anything that can ascend is God's feet. So that's really the breakdown behind the meaning of that. We also two gun guy, two gun down game. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and really, that's also, we not for the violence. We ain't coming out here, goddamn, talking about you step on my shoes, you finna win your whole goddamn block up. It's nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? Two guns down, mean, nigga, you have your pistol, you have your protection on you, you know what I'm saying? But you only use it when necessary. So nine times out of ten, if I can beat your ass with my hand, then two pistols finna stay down, you know what I'm saying? But if you wanna take it down, believe it's, it's down, you know what I'm saying? So. The whole meaning of the Rocket Gang is really a deeper meaning, you know what I'm saying? And we'll probably have to save that for another segment to really get into the origin and really the meaning behind Rocket Gang. But it's not nothing that we just like, well, that shit sound cool, let's go with it. Nah, it, 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 it really came from right now a, a deeper secret than that. You feel me? Have you, um, Accomplished everything that you wanted to accomplish this last year, this year, last year, with the music? Last year, I can say about last year. Last year, I was heading in the direction that I wanted to head. You know what I'm saying? About me and Cool still having what we had going forward, moving like that. This, 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 this most current year, I moved how I wanted to move. You know what I'm saying? I dropped how I wanted to drop and make music that really I, I vibe with. And my peers vibe with, my people vibe with. So, music wise, I wouldn't take none away from what I done did in these last two years. But the only thing that I wish that I really could change would be the fact that I didn't get hip to this business shit early and I could be so much fun than where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? But I still don't look at it as a fuck up. I just look at it as a lesson. You know what I'm saying? Because now I know what the hell to do. And shit, we moving in that direction full force. You feel me? So, it, 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 it's a bittersweet topic, but you know what I'm saying? So far, I'm, I'm happy. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a, I'm in a good space. I got niggas around me with great energy. Damn, shit, I can't ask for more right now. So, um, is there anything you would do different, move different, uh, in this music, collabs, uh, bu business, um, dropping tapes, anything? I don't think I would do anything different, because it, 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 it molded me and really shaped me the way I am today. And then got me into the mind frame where I'm at now. So as far as trying to change anything about what I done did, no. But one thing I probably would change, I would have never made that record tour school. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, it takes two to argue. I had my fault in it. And I, I, I own my fault. You know what I'm saying? I own mine. So 
if I could redo anything, it would probably just be. And I wouldn't have never came to the studio and made that track. I would have got down, made a left, and pulled up at his house, and we just sat down and really got down, had a cover about what was going on. But other than that, I was happy with it. Like I said, the energy wave is right. Well, like everybody around me is on the right wave. We got the right energy. No negativity, no bullshit. And sky's the limit when it comes out. Yeah, TRG drops on Just suck a seed.